for the love of cinema slash YouTube and Ronnie. <laughs> this is nothing less than Machu Picchu, man. Upar to chhod jayenge, niche kaise aayenge, Gawa? Sin, King Sin. Wow. Okay guys, good morning. Another beautiful day out here in Delhi. So we are now going towards a village called Stoke, which is uh, right opposite Le, across uh, the Indus River. And uh, basically I'm going to go see a friend of mine, a childhood friend of mine. Uh, we went to boarding school together in Missouri for almost about seven to eight years. So he's invited us to his place and uh, we're going to see Stoke uh, village, you know, through his eyes. Okay, try for the other. See you, see you, see you. Okay, 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 bye. Where are you going, brother? You're going to go. You're going to go. You're going to go. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> That's my friend Gawa, and uh, we're going to be hanging out with him today. Smell the flowers while walking. This is my old grandfather's house. This is now like a... Okay. So I like the old feel. Feels like a gompa only. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet! Staying in Stoke is so much better than staying in Leh. Staying in Leh. You got that country feel? Yeah. You're close to town. And it's so close. No, As you, so close to town. Half and half from the town. This is gorgeous. Mustard, huh? It's not mustard, it's uh, alfalfa grass. Alpha alfalfa grass. Okay, first things first, guys, we are going to visit the Stok Palace, which is right here. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to film inside. It's also a museum, and uh, I think the royal family also lives currently over here. That's so nice. Hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Night. I've seen you. Oh, yeah? I've seen you somewhere. You've seen me in school, probably. No, I've seen you with, uh, with on with my YouTube uh, channel. Arjun. With Arjun, was the same. to Kaya Cafe for a vegan lunch. Vegan lunch in Stoke? Yes. Well, let's do it. <laughs> Bola, Manoj, this is your dream of having a farm to table. Otherwise, how would I even get you to come and open a cafe here? <laughs> okay, I'm Hashim. I basically, uh, and I've been working in Leh for, or in Ladakh in the region for more than a decade. Mm -hmm. And uh, essentially, Leh started getting super crowded. It was difficult to just be there because I was spending extended time in Ladakh. And I was looking for a place for myself, just to you know stay and some place I could call home while I was here. And Stoke happened. And then I met Pooja. I'm a vegan pastry chef. I have an online vegan baking school. I think because of the love for animals and also because of the changing climate, I don't feel it is sustainable at all to be 
eating meat and I'm having a shiitake burger. Roni's having a tofu schnitzel burger. And Gawa's got some buckwheat pancakes. Can't wait to dig in. But it's been nice to see that, you know, even now with the demographic completely changed where it's almost 99% Indian tourists, that there is a clear understanding of the food and there's a understanding of flavors, textures, ingredients, and people appreciate everything that's happening here. Mm, oh. That looks good. We're having some, we're gonna have some superfood Sibakthorn Sobe. <laughs> they have their own car. Oh my god. Okay. I'll just get back to wow. you. I'll, I'll give you a bit of Mazze, mazze. Good morning, everybody. Another beautiful day out here in Stok. And uh, today we have decided to go on a short little hike, maybe an hour or two, inside this uh, the Stoke Kangri route. What can I say, man? We're always up for a hike. So let's do this. Either we go down to the river and cross it, which is obviously the easier and the smarter thing to do, or you go climb up that pass if you can see the Pakdandi over there and uh, climb up the pass and then go down and eventually come back down to the riverbed. Anyway, so Ronnie thinks we should do the pass, Gawa and I think we should be smart and do the riverbed. And we have a sign for the love of cinema slash YouTube and Ronnie yes. <laughs> we are gonna be taking the pass <laughs> I don't care what she says because when it comes to hiking I'm always right and I know for a fact it's gonna be something really crazy on top there we have to go climb up this way to the turret to the watch tower this is the pass guys yeah of course there's a path They never trust me. I told you, this is a beautiful freaking spot. Look at this place. I've shotgunned already. So. Yeah, I want that. Yeah, Come on. <laughs> that's mine. And some sea bug thorn juice. Oh, but yeah, take another juice. Okay, just give me the apple. Just give me the apple. <laughs> I'm good with an apple. Should I smash this banana? I'm trying to catch. Those are wild roses and in uh, the local language they're known as Sia. So the Siachen Glacier gets its name from this particular plant. Oh, it smells so nice. Yeah? Like roses? Yeah. We're very close, very close to roses. Nice. Okay guys, so we are at Castle Grayskull, the home of Skeletor from uh, He-Man, the comics. <laughs> I don't think the young ones will get it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, right? It's fine and easy here, but when you go that hidden part, it's right. almost like a 90 degree climb. I know. Very steep. 
We'll have to climb on all fours. <laughs> yeah, that ain't happening. Upper to chhod jayenge, niche kaise aayenge, Gawa? That is, that is the even the butt trick is not gonna work over here. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, so Gawa and me are gonna go up this gnarly route, while Bati is just gonna stay back there. It's a little too hard go for her. Well, let's do this. Going up is still easy, even though it's like almost 90 degrees. But uh, coming down, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> ah, this looks like the entrance to the big fortress. All the way up. All the way up, huh? Okay, final ascent. We're almost there. To this side, right? Around this. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> this is nothing less than Machu Picchu, man. Wow! Insane. What do you know about this place? I don't know much. Must be uh, old fortification. Could be at least a thousand years old. A thousand years old. Well, then on top of this hill, it offers a good vantage point for any en enemies approaching from any direction. Probably they'll be using stones or slingshots or anyone trying to climb up to their fortification. It always feels good when you, you know, really push yourself and then you're rewarded with something like this. the descent yes <laughs> time to head down oh watch it watch it watch it you go first Whoa. <laughs> almost Okay guys, so that was a pretty full on day. Just woke up from a nap and uh, right now just uh, soaking in that last sunset, you know, in this beautiful quaint little village of Stok. Overall, I think uh, Stok as a village has been gaining a lot of popularity in the recent past. Uh, not just because of the Stok Palace or, you know, the giant Buddha or the Stok Kangri Trek, uh, but because of that calm, um, you know, countryside charm that this village exudes. Uh, the city noise completely drowns out over here. The air breathes differently out here. And uh, somehow, uh, you know, your body clock just resets uh, to a much slower pace of life. Mm -hmm.